Flags I think are cool. Jamaica is the only country whose flag does not feature red, white, or blue. The flag is black, green, and yellow. This makes Jamaica unique among all national flags. Okay, I've heard that before. How many examples can we think of that prove this wrong? I don't think there are any. I think that's true. Like, yeah, there's state flags and county flags that don't feature red, white, or blue, but I think when it comes to national flags, Jamaica's the only one that doesn't have at least one of those colours. For example, you might think of the Sri Lanka flag, but that dark red is still a kind of red. And was it Libya that briefly had just an all green flag? Yes, look at that. From 977 to 2011, it was just pure green. But then when Gaddafi, who was in control, was overthrown, they changed it back to this one. Which means Jamaica is the only flag that does not feature red, white, or blue. And the comments have fact-checked that for me, so I'm not just talking rubbish. Guy in Scotland continuously flying the flag of whoever's playing against England in the Euros. <laughs> that is so funny. Oh my god. Imagine seeing a Serbian flag outside of this tiny little house in Scotland. Then there was Denmark. I can't quite see where that is. Is that Switzerland? And then Slovakia too? It's so funny thinking about this Scottish fellow ordering all these flags online just to kick off at the English. Ivory Coast and Irish delegates meet. Oh, we love to see cool country flag combos. I don't know what the politicians were meeting for. What do the Irish and the Ivory Coast have to chat about? Probably something really important and I'm just ignorant. But either way, we get to see their very, very similar flags side by side finally and that is beautiful. Mwah. Whoa, flag of the United States in the style of the Republic of Venice. So for context, this is the United States flag. You probably know that one, but you might not recognize the flag of Venice. So this is a really cool mock-up. You can see we've got a bunch of old US presidents. We've got the Declaration of Independence. We've got a fancy version of the stripes on the side. We've got the stars in the background still as well. Looks kind of badass, doesn't it? Awful at the same time, but still badass. Which flags do you hate seeing people get wrong? Right, so they've done Turkey with the emblem too far to the left. They've done not enough stars on the US flag, no leaves around Cyprus. We've got a centered Portugal, triangle touching right. I don't actually get that one. That's Bosnia and Herzegovina. I'm going to have to have a look at the actual flag. Ah, okay. There's a square over on the right, a big square of blue. I'll be honest. If I was drawing that flag from memory, I absolutely would have drawn it something like that. And full stripes for Israel. Do they also end short? Ah, yeah, there's white at the top. That's something I definitely would have got wrong as well. Yeah, two out of six there, I would have messed up. What's your favorite flag style of flag design and why? Oh, we just love flags on this channel. Traditional European, okay, fairly standard. We've got the communist flags with a bunch of red and a little bit of yellow in the corner. Oh, early modern East Asian. That's a cool set of flags, isn't it? Pirate flags I could get behind. Well, I don't know what flag this is, but it looks badass with the black. Anarchist is kind of cool. Pan-African flags always look nice. Vertical tricolor, a little bit boring, but still nice. Modern American with the multiple shades of blue on these new state flags. Yeah, they are really modern, aren't they? They work, though. The Nordic flag of classics, pan-Slavic and Soviet satellite state, which is not something I'm really that familiar with. Now, I really think the most effective flags are the simple ones. The flags that don't make things overly complicated or have loads of text or too much detail. Simplicity is really important, and that's why I love Odoo when it comes to building a website. Their site builder is just so intuitive, there are no technical skills required. You can drag and drop blocks, customize each one using animations, changing their color, adding images, text, and if you're stuck on what to write, Odoo will use chat GPT to help you generate and restructure your text. Odoo has a range of applications to help entrepreneurs manage their entire business. If you use just one Odoo app, you can do it for free with unlimited hosting and support and a custom domain for the first year. Don't waste any more time and get your business going using my link at the top of the description. What is this incomplete EU flag? How has that happened? So the stars are meant to go all the way around and create a full circle. Does this mean something else or have they just messed up? Yeah, it's just people making jokes in the comments. So I think this is just a literal mistake? How does something like that happen though? Bottle return machine in Ireland using the Irish flag for English and the Irish presidential standard for Gaelic, which is a language in Ireland. Interesting. I actually kind of understand the logic to that because if this is a machine that's in Ireland, it would perhaps feel out of place putting an England flag there? And a United Kingdom flag wouldn't make sense either. But most people in Ireland do speak English, so I don't know. It's a weird one. What's a flag that is terrible in your opinion, but you like it anyway? And then you've got the flag of Zambia here, which when you think about it, is a pretty weird flag with just all of that green. And then the eagle that's kind of taken up an odd amount of space with a big gap underneath it. But like you say in the caption, it kind of works, doesn't it? You still like this flag. North Caucasian Emirate flag. <laughs> no way, is that real? Looks like a smiley with a nose. Well, yeah. I've always loved this flag for some reason. Whoa! What is that? That's the flag of the province of Connaught in Ireland. That looks crazy! It's literally like two flags stitched together, but it 
And he's kind of badass, isn't it? Look at the eagle with his big arm. Which do you prefer? The old American style flags, okay. Or the modern American style flags. Yeah, because a lot of states are doing modernizing at the minute. And it is a, quite a big difference when you put them side by side. They're all cute, aren't they? All the new flags are very cute looking. Whereas there's something kind of established and badass feeling about these. But also, I, I don't know. I'm actually really conflicted. I feel like I like bits of both. There are some cool ones here, though. I mean, you know I love the California flag. I feel like don't tread on me it's a bit much. Maybe, you know, chill out. But I like the simplicity of the Arkansas flag as well. But then I, I like all of these as well. Do you know what? I don't know. Let's see what the comments say. I like a healthy mix of both. It's just kind of a case-by-case -case basis. Some of the modern designs are too minimalistic slash corporate looking. But at the same time, some of the older designs are just ugly or as equally uninspired. Yeah, I guess a lot of the new ones look a bit like logos for brands. Maybe that's the issue. Each group's got some studs and some duds. Couldn't have said it better myself, to be fair. Mystery flag seen in Corfu, Greece. What is that? It's got chains on it. I do not recognize this at all. It's the flag of Black Country, the former heavily industrialized area of just west of Birmingham, England. A very surprising place to encounter it. What's it doing in Corfu? Not at all. There are many Brits in Corfu. Fair enough. I guess someone from near Birmingham just moved to Corfu and they're proud of the Black Country. All right, fair. I think orange suits better for the South African flag. Are you crazy? It definitely does not. Kai, can you please make it red again? Thank you. Whoa, saw this flag in Chicago. What is it? It kind of hurts your eyes to look at it, but I like it at the same time. Not as a serious flag, of course, but as something to waft about in the street. I'm on board. Apparently, it's a Chicago-specific pride flag. That's the star shape of the flags on both the city of Chicago and Cook County. Ah, uh, yeah, when you zoom in, you can see it's obviously pride-related. And pride flags are meant to look a bit fun and flashy, aren't they? So I think it works pretty well. What's your favorite fictional flag? I'll start. I do not know what this is from, and no one has told me in the comments. Please let me know. Oh, Kingdom of Rohan from Lord of the Rings. That is a nice-looking flag, really well suited. And then we've got Kingdom of Gondor from Lord of the Rings as well. Rohan one's better, but both are good. Whoa, why is the Bolivian coat of arms displayed like that? So it's the right way up, even though the flag is the wrong way up. That's so weird. Literally just a stylistic choice to straighten the coat of arms while it's on display. I have never seen anything like that. Nah, put it the right way up. Because it's merging into the bits of green and red on each side. You can't have that. Put it at an angle. It doesn't matter if it's at an angle. That's what your flag's like. If you want your coat of arms straight, then have your flag straight. I don't like that at all. Think about how silly that would look if you actually did straighten it up now. Why is there so much blue beneath the bottom of stars on this US flag? Oh yeah, look at that. It's definitely too much blue. That's way too big a gap. Donald, what are you buying cheap flags for, Donald? Donald. <laughs> New Minnesota state flag in the wild. Yeah, it was changed a few weeks ago and it's one of these new modern blue US state flags. It looks cool, doesn't it? I like it. I'm a big fan. Oh, we know this one. So this was spotted in Prague. That's Zambia, of course. I would never get that mistaken with Zimbabwe. I'm not even going to check the comments. I'm that confident that's the Zambia flag. All of yesterday's games at the Euros featured a team with a red, white, blue flag versus a team with a red, white flag. That's weird, isn't it? So Netherlands and Austria, that's red, white and blue versus red and white. Then we've got France and Poland. Red, white, and blue. White and red. White and red. Then white, blue, and red. That's so weird. All the way at the bottom. It's almost as if they're the most common flag combinations in the world. What's your thoughts on this Georgia State flag redesign? They are just going crazy for the flag redesigns in the US. And they just can't get enough of these wiggly lines as well. It looks good. It's, it's nice. It's modern. Saw this crab on a car in the line at Chick-fil-A. Are these maritime flags? What does it mean? I recognize another flag. That's just Maryland, right? Maryland, the USA state. That's the Maryland State flag, yeah! Maryland has said that it's the shape of a crab because uh, steamed crabs are a popular meal in Maryland and people from Maryland like to put their flag on everything. <laughs> Am I warming to the Maryland flag? Because I've previously said that it's really ugly, but do you know what? I quite like the chaos of it. But anyway, that is up to you to discuss in the comments. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do subscribe. Also, make sure to check out Audio Toppling in the description and support the channel. Okay, bye. I'll see you later.